how to make miniature chain link fences for your wargaming terrain. Hi, I'm Chris from Good Enough Scenery and today's video I will be showing you exactly how to do it. It isn't too difficult. It will help a lot if you've watched my video on how to make realistic looking miniature concrete. I'll put a link in the description. So for this, you're gonna need some posts and you're gonna need um, a base for it. So the base of it is simply a, a nine inch long, well, it can be any length you like, but this is one that's nine inches long, which has then been painted in the concrete style. And then I've got some uprights, which are about two and a half inches high. Now, in order for the uh, fence part to fit onto the uh, the post part, what I'm doing is cutting a uh, just a little slit down the side of the posts, and then I'm widening that with a biro. You could widen it with anything else that you thought was uh, suitable, uh, and that means it can get slotting quite nicely without too much effort. Now, the fence part is made out of steel mesh. Now, unless you have got tin snips like I've got here, this stuff is incredibly difficult to cut, even with pliers, tin snips go through it like scissors would go through paper. So from here, I'm taking the, uh, the steel mesh and just cutting it into suitable lengths. I think these were around about three inches, maybe just about uh, a little bit less so that they would fit in between the posts. So we're having four posts, which means three um, spaces for, uh, the mesh to go and uh, one of them is going to be broken so the size becomes less important but as you can see it just slots in there nicely like that and that is how it's going to work for the rest of it and there you go it's a it, it's as simple as that but we want to make it look even better than that if you're happy with it without any of the extras that's good enough and with good enough scenery you stop when you feel like it is good enough so you don't have to have it being like an entire length you can obviously uh, add some extra detail, stylize it. So for this one, I'm cutting a hole in the center. The one you saw previously, it was cut to half length and then bent back on itself. Um, so just to kind of make it look as more and more ruined and broken and trashed, because very little wargaming terrain is uh, interesting if it's just looking absolutely perfect, unless you're incredibly good at it. Um, so in order to make it look kind of rusted and broken, what I'm doing is I'm covering the, the whole thing in a paint called Typhus Corrosion as a product link in the description. Uh, and this just this is a, t a texture paint. It kind of makes it look all brown, but also has some uh, some texture to it so that when we do the dry brush in the riser rust in a minute, uh, it kind of really picks out the detail and really actually makes it look like it's a rusted fence. So this is the other one. This is riser rust. Once again, there's a product link in the description and you can go as heavy or as uh, light on this as you want. Obviously, sometimes when things get rusted, they are pure orange. Sometimes they just got a little bit of uh, an orangey brownness to them. So it's up to you where you want to add uh, the, the how much you want to add and where you want to add it. Um, and I think it, it's very difficult to get this wrong because, you know, stuff rusts pretty randomly. Um, I decided for this one that around the hole that there would have been more water gathered. And you can see more what's going on when you put it on a black background like this. So, yeah, that's what I did with some of them. And in order to kind of put it all together, I'm just using a hot glue gun. So you want to wipe off the end so you don't get loads coming out and loads of kind of strings. And I'm going very, very gentle, gentle on the trigger there and just putting a very fine bead and then slotting it in. If you put too much on, it's all going to squidge out of the edge of that slit. Uh, and that's not what we want to be happening because it will just, just won't look very good. So doing that with all of the different pieces, slotting them in, uh, it's pretty simple, quite satisfying as well, I have to I have to add. Uh, and then in order to attach the uprights to the, the base, all I'm going to do for that is once again just use the glue gun on the bottom of the posts just to stick it on. It's nice and simple. Now with this one in particular, I then added a, kind of, I made it into an L shape to make it a little bit more secure. I haven't actually shown that in this video, but you know, in terms of the method, nothing is... Uh, Nothing is different. So yeah, it's it's a really, really simple bit of scatter terrain to make really. The only kind of difficulty is having the tin snips or something like that. Um, but you know, if you're gonna make a lot of these and it's well worth doing and I think they look absolutely fantastic. So if you've enjoyed this, then please subscribe to the channel. Please uh, hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos are coming up. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see me make next. And um, yeah, look forward to showing you another video soon.